Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to talk about instance types, specifically instance types definitions and instance types components. Starting out with the definitions, let's talk about what is an instance type. For a simplified definition, the instance type is the CPU, the compute power of your instance. For an AWS definition, when you launch an instance, the instance type that you specify determines the hardware of the host computer used for the instance. Each instance type offers different compute, memory, and storage capabilities and are grouped in instance families based on these capabilities. Select an instance type based on the requirements of the application or software that you plan to run on your instance. So when you think about instance type, the main category that I want you to think about is its CPU, its compute power, but it also represents the other hardware components that make up the virtual server that you're going to launch. So now let's talk about the components of the instance types. And to do that, let's also take a look at that in the EC2 console. So to get a good view of all the various options, let's actually go into launch an instance. We're going to select an AMI. We're gonna select the Amazon Linux here just as an example to get to this screen here, which is the second step when launching an instance where we have to select the instance type. So let's go through all of these different options. First is family, and this is a way of categorizing instance types based on what they are optimized to do. So you have general categories. So for family, you have a general purpose instance type. You have a compute optimized instance type, GPU compute, memory optimized, storage optimized. And these are all categories that are designed for a specific purpose depending on, again, the type of application or software you're going to run or use this instance for. Then within each family, you have a type. This is the subcategory for each family type. So this is a naming designation within each family, which then represents the rest of the configuration. For vCPUs, these are the amount of virtual CPUs that your instance type will have. Next, memory, this is the amount of RAM your instance type will have. For instance storage, the local instance storage volume, meaning your hard drive, and here you can see various options such as EBS only or SSD. Next, is EBS optimized available? So this indicates if EBS optimization is an option for the type of instance you are going to select. And last is network performance, and this is the network performance rating based on its data transfer rate, basically your bandwidth capacity into and out of the instance. So as you can see, there are a lot of different type of instance types that you can choose from with a lot of different configurations and settings. And as you can probably imagine, there are large price differences between these two. The one you will most commonly use, at least while getting started with AWS, is going to be the T2 Micro instance type because this is the free tier option. So moving on, we'll just sum this up again. When you think about an instance type, think about the CPU. Think about the underlying hardware that is going to power your EC2 instance, including the type and amount of processors, the amount of memory, the type of optimization for storage, and the bandwidth capacity of the instance itself. So with that, we will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.